Jake Huddington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Christian Verstraat. And you guys announced the Cloud OS today. And, and what exactly is that, and what does that mean? Okay, hi, Jay. Uh, well, Cloud OS is actually our next step in our move to Converge Cloud. When we announced Converge Cloud, one of the elements that we actually put forward was this possibility to be able to use workloads and take workloads across multiple clouds and be able to, quote, unquote, seamlessly transfer them from one to the other. Cloud OS is the architectural foundation to really achieve that. It's based on OpenStack, so you know that we've already started working with OpenStack for quite a while, that we are a big contributor into the team. Now what we're doing is we're taking that technology back in-house, and we've learned a lot about what OpenStack was into that process. Now we want to take that and start using that in the rest of our products, so that we have a consistency across the different platforms that we're actually using. Actually, we're already using some of it, and I'll come back to that in a minute. But what CloudOS is, fundamentally, it's a distribute an internal distribution for HP of OpenStack with an easy installation process and with a number of other elements around it to really make it robust and provide the functionality that we need to allow our customers to really use cloud across the different across private cloud, across managed cloud, and across public cloud. Now, does that, does that make uh, the, the OpenStack implementation any less open by, by doing that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So that's, it, we've always been saying that we want to be open from a hypervisor perspective, open from a, a, an operating system perspective, even open from a hardware perspective. So it doesn't stop any of that to happen. It just ensures that it, in, in, it facilitates the, the portability of workloads across private cloud, managed cloud, and public cloud. So that customers can decide that, hey, I want to keep this workload very, very close to my chest today, but maybe in three, six months from now, for whatever reason, it's becoming less important to have it close to the chest. So maybe then I want to put it into a managed cloud because I need something else into my private cloud and don't want to expand it. So having that possibility, having that flexibility to take best advantage of the different types of clouds that I use in a hybrid delivery type of model um, is really where CloudOS at its value. And does that also, uh, does that also make it uh, easier to go kind of back and forth? Like let's say you want to do some development in, in a private cloud scenario, but you want to deploy to a public cloud or vice versa. Does it, does it simplify that? Absolutely, absolutely. So that's also part of it. It's making these, element, making these consistent so that the rollout of applications on them become actually seamless. The idea over time is that we can really take the virtual machine and actually migrate the virtual machine across. We aren't there, we're completely there yet, but we're actually on that way using Cloud OS. So if I take an example today, uh, we announced about uh, six months ago and we actually made available a couple months ago um, the KVM support in our cloud system, which is our private cloud. Well, actually the KVM support, not, not everybody knows that, but the KVM support is a real OpenStack appliance already today. It's sort of an early implementation of our cloud OS. We're also making cloud OS uh, accessible to customers through the CloudOS sandbox for customers that want to test out what an OpenStack-based private cloud would actually be. So this is more of a sandbox in which they can actually start playing and understanding what the implications are of implementing OpenStack and really using that. So this is kind of, in, in many ways, it allows people to kind of um, figure out where they want to go but before they get there. Correct, correct. It gives them the opportunity to go and test and play with a number of things before they really make their final decision saying, hey, this is what I want to do and this is where I want to go. It, what we're trying to do with that is showing them how the use of open source and the use of OpenStack gives them and leaves them the flexibility to make choices and not being locked in into a particular vendor.